welcome to today's discussion today we will be discussing about how the fuel pump timing can be adjusted in a in our conventional cam and roller method where the cam gives a jerk to the roller and roller transfers this jerk to the plunger this is the bell this is the bell it has got two ports air one and air one these are the spill ports welcome to today's discussion today we will be discussing about how the fuel pump timing can be adjusted in a jerk type fuel pump a jerk type fuel pump that means the injection of the fuel is by means of a jerk given to the fuel pump plunger that means in our conventional cam and roller method and the other fuel pumps where it is a common rail is there which is always pressed up up to very high pressure of nearly 400 bar from where the individual units take the fuel according to their timing that is that is called the or common rail type this is the bell this is the bell it has got two ports air one and air one these are the spill ports when the plunger goes up as soon as the spill ports are covered then the injection of the fuel starts and as soon as this is again uncovered and it is reaching here and it is again uncovered the injection then stops and this is the plunger this ring and pin element here one circular ring is there this and this this one is having a thread which is matched with the threads of the barrel so if we turn the threads of this ring this outer ring then automatically the barrel will go up and down that means what that means the position of the spill ports will go up and down according to the position of this vit rack the starting of the injection of fuel pump will depend on the vit rack position because it controls the vertical position of the barrel and so the vertical position of the spill ports and as the spill ports are going up and down the onset of the fuel injection also is very cam how to change the timing of the fuel pump well the timing of the fuel pump can be done in two ways either to shift the motion of the barrel so that the spin ports they change their position that means if the barrel is moved upwards then the spin ports are going high that means the onset of the fuel injection will be late 
that is how it is done when when fitting the fuel pump onto this dependent guide element then at certain point the spring pressure of this fuel pump barrel and this plunger element there is a spring inside this spring starts to give the pressure onto this tappet so according to our requirement and according to the instructions on the manual we can raise the body of the fuel pump a little bit high so that it is raised upwards but still the plunger is touching the tap head that means the now these spill ports have gone upwards that means the starting of the injection will be delayed one thing is to be done is that one thing is to be kept in mind that the when the fuel pump is kept little raised there should not be any gap between this plunger and the tapet the adjustment of the pump position has to be done during the time when the spring pressure is felt not before that so the fuel pump it has normally four screws on four sides so the edge go on screwing the nuts the pressure can be felt of the spring so that means now the plunger has sit on to the tapet it has made a contact so according to the requirements the ships can be put under the fuel pump before it sits the before it sits on the body of the engine then if we are going on screwing the bolts a time will come it will sit on the tapet the plunger will get a contact with the tapet so during that time the shims have to be added here so that this gap is met which will vary the vertical position of this pill ports and how it can be advanced advancement is done by not by the fuel pump position fuel pump position but by the tapet and roller position that is how here it is seen that above the roller this is the tapet portion and here the shims can be added the shims are generally provided by the manufacturer according to what degree of angle say about 1 degree 2 degree or half degrees shims of different thickness are available which are to be placed in between in between this tapet and this roller piece here and thus the vertical position of the plunger is going up when the shims are added here so what happens is that as the plunger is going up the plunger is now nearer and nearer to the spill ports that means the onset of the fuel injection will be sooner 
that is how the starting of the full injection can be advanced. So the starting of for the advancement, the shims have to be added here. Shims have to be added here. And for the delay, what is done is that the fuel pump, when it sits onto the body of the engine, it is placed with the shims below so that the fuel pump does not completely sit onto the body of the engine but it gives a but it keeps a gap that means the barrel position rises up it the barrel position is now upper than the 